What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, please consider subscribing as we do everything RC related on this channel. My original recorded footage of this video somehow got corrupted, so I'm shooting it again. This week on my workbench, we just picked up our newest member to the fleet. This is the Armored Gorgon, a two-wheel drive entry-level monster truck. And for an entry-level monster truck, it does look pretty good. It's basic and simple in design, but backed by one of the bigger RC companies out there. And unlike a toy grade RC, this will have part supports, you can upgrade it, and you can even uh, repair it or convert it to brushless, unlike the toy grade RCs out there. So this makes the Argo Gorgon a pretty good entry level RC for just about anyone. It will allow you to get into the hobby, get a taste of what it's really about, you'll be able to grow this platform, you'll be able to learn this platform, and best of all, it's the price. This blue one comes in at 139 it does not come with a battery or a charger, they have a um, green and black one and an all red one. It does come with a nickel metal battery, a USB charger, all for $169. They also have an all decked out black one if you prefer to build it on your own. It does come with a battery and a USB charger also for $169. The Armor Gorgon is equipped with a 540 14 turn brush motor, a 2 in 1 ESC, and it comes equipped with this SLT2 radio. I'm a big fan of this radio. You can one hand drive it, has a good size and it feels comfortable in the hand. This is all you need to really get you going. They will also provide four double A's for it. Uh, in the manual they'll also give you, they'll give you some shock spacers, some allen keys, a tool to adjust the slipper and remove the tires, and a technical pack with some QR codes for you guys to scan. As you can see there are no visible body clips on this body. Uh, it, the body is held down with two clips in the front and the rear and they're really easy to remove. Here's your standard really simple basic plastic fully composite chassis. Here's your 2 in 1 ESC and here's your standard servo. And if you do decide to convert it to brushless in the future you have the option of mounting a I believe a 40 millimeter fan and stuff like that. So. It also has a bottom loaded battery tray. So this is where you'll load your battery. Pretty simple to remove. And just like that, you load your battery from the bottom and you're all set. So simple design, nothing too complicated about it. It also comes with oil filled shocks and these monster truck inspired tires. They also have no foam in it. So uh, really makes for easy maintenance on this vehicle. If you are running it in water, you can. And the electronics are fully are waterproof. So this is gonna be my son's uh, Armour Gorgon. We're gonna work on it. We're gonna make it brushless. We're gonna do some things to it. Um, he hasn't been into the RC with me for a little bit. He's drifted away. He's more into the video games, but I'm pretty sure when he sees this, he's gonna to wanna to rip it with me just based on the looks alone. I think for a younger person, this vehicle is more tailored to them. But even for us uh, RC enthusiasts, we get to work on it, we get to upgrade it. It's super affordable, and uh, this hobby is already expensive as it is. So when we get something like this, we got to take advantage of it. And uh, it is hobby grade. It is simple, but uh, to me, this uh, I love monster trucks and bashing this around is going to put a huge smile on my face so I know I'm going to have a ton of fun with this rig. So we are going to speed run it right out of the box so you can see how it performs. We are going to run it on a LiPo. I have a Spectrum G2 5002S pack here. I picked this one up uh, specifically for my Losi Pro Moto MX because with these type of batteries the battery tray is a little hard to close so I picked up uh, the G2 series. Uh, if you're new to the hobby and you don't know about balance uh, lipos and stuff like that to make it easier for you, something like this uh, really simplifies uh, battery maintenance and charging. Uh, if you are going to grow into this hobby and you are going to pick up a lipo and more vehicles, this is a great entry level charger. This is the S155. It's just a direct plug and play automatically uh, charges the battery. It will start charging it for you and uh, it will self discharge. I have mine set for 72 hours or in three days 
it'll discharge to a nice safe rate so making the hobby really simple for uh, newcomers something like this this is a $60 charger so you really can't go wrong so uh, and I'm also going to show you how to uh, flip over the little tab you have to just basically put it into lipo mode so it doesn't discharge the lipo completely and I'll show you how to do that now you have this little jumper tab here if you are going to be running a lipo on it to protect the lipo just go ahead and move it over one that way when it hits that low voltage it won't damage the lipo if you are running it with the battery with the nickel metal that it does come with then you can just leave it as is so my early impressions of the armagorgon is that it's very well built it's offering tremendous value starting at 139 dollars without a battery and charger or 169 with a nickel metal battery and a usb charger so if you're new to the hobby this might be a great starting point for you or if you're even an experienced rc enthusiast this will be a fun build with a great price point so let's get the gps on it let's see how it performs out of the box then we're going to go to the skate park give it a proper bashing and see what this armor gorgon is all about look at that baby nice it's full throttle See what it did? Not bad for a brush motor. Oh, one last time. It's a little bit of streaming trim still. One-handed driving, it's not an easy skill. Twenty-seven miles an hour, right out of the box on a brush motor on a 2S lipo. It's not bad. Um, let's give it a nice little uh, street rip here to see how it does, and then we're going to take it to the skate park and bash it around. Definitely like how it turns. It just has enough body lean to it. Can't wait to see how it jumps at the skate park.
Gorgon is very impressive for a entry level two wheel drive monster truck. It's got an excellent price point, it's offering excellent value, and it's brushless ready. So, next time you see this monster truck on the channel, guys, it will be brushless. So, thank you guys for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one. <laughs>